What's going on everybody? This video is going to go over FMB Monsters one play touchdowns against cover four out of the single back deuce close formation that he showcased yesterday in the San Francisco 49ers club series where he ended up becoming the champion. Now as you can see on the screen the stats are straight up absurd. 4 for 5 for 170 yards, 3 touchdowns, and 34 yards per attempt for Monsta against cover 4. And you compare that to the stats against everything else where he went 8 for 10, 97 yards, a touchdown, a pick, and 9.7 yards per attempt. Seeing as how his yards per attempt shot up almost 400% when playing against cover 4, I think it's safe to say that the next time we see Monsta, cover 4 will not be on his opponent's play call sheet. Also, a quick shout out to Nas Fields for the suggestion on this topic. He actually suggested it during the club series while I was also watching it. So thanks for the idea. Definitely keep them coming, guys. Now, the play that Monster was running out of that single back deuce close formation was the PA post X cross play. And really, your read at the line of scrimmage is very, very simple. Basically, it's an if else on whether or not your opponent is pressing and pulling those safeties way up into the box. Now, it's a common look that you're going to get, especially when running single back deuce close, because people know you have to stop the wham, you have to stop the stretch. So a lot of people will get very aggressive with those safeties, bring them up in the box. A lot of people default back to cover four as their default run defense because of the fact that those safeties do react to the run so quickly. So as you can see right here, Splashman brought both safeties up into the box and really the beauty of this play is based on whatever look you're seeing it's very very quick snappable so right here at the line of scrimmage all you have to do if you're monster is max protect so that's going to block paul and kittle and then fade bo jackson because you're not trying to fool the strong safety you're not trying to fool the right side safety this guy right here you don't have to use the curl route on the right side to occupy him all you're doing is basically abusing the fact that that free safety won't get back fast enough and bo jackson's going to run a fade right behind him and so that's exactly what you're going to see right here play fake to the running back bo jackson gets behind the free safety the cornerback because he was pressed has no shot at getting back in time and that's a 66 yard touchdown right there for bo jackson and monster now right here on the second time monster bombed cover four for a touchdown you can see that Splashman adjusted for the fact that he knew monster had a way to bomb cover four deep down the left sideline so you see no press now so that cornerback playing much further back but now monster has a second setup where basically it's just as quick hikeable as the first one it's a max protect same thing and this time you don't have to fade bo jackson you leave him on his default deep post route and now all you have to do is go ahead and curl your right side receiver in this case andre reed to basically try and distract this strong safety just for a half a second to a second and that allows that receiver crossing the face of the free safety to get behind that strong safety in the deep quarter zone so that's exactly what you're going to see here as he goes curl route strong safety sits see how the strong safety is still backpedaling and looking at the quarterback he hasn't even turned his hips yet and isn't even running backwards bo jackson gets behind the strong safety perfect throw for monster's quarterback and that's a 56 yard touchdown for fmb monster right there now as you can see here i have some examples in practice mode mainly on the post route beating cover four and usually it seems to do much better whenever you have more field to work with wherever the post route's going. So if you're going left to right, you want to be either on the left hash or in the middle of the field is fine as well. Whenever you get over to the right hash, that strong safety who's in that deep quarter zone on the right center doesn't have quite as much ground to cover. And so he does a much better job of getting back and playing that post route. However, a nice workaround to that is basically instead of throwing the normal bullet pass, what you want to do is as soon as that post route crosses the face of the free safety, you want to throw a lob pass straight downfield, and that should get you the separation that you need behind that free safety since he already crossed his face, and the strong safety will be too far underneath to be able to make a play on the ball. Another thing to note is that that curl route is actually very important for this play as it does hold that strong safety's attention and allows the post route to get behind it. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Definitely, like I said earlier, leave a comment and let me know if there are any other specific things you would like me to look at from either the Club Series or the Madden Challenge Tournament. And until next time, guys, take it easy.